Welcome back to my channel bro. This channel shares information about the latest cars. Ok let's go straight into the video. The Volkswagen Taos has the potential to be made into an exceptional little runabout provided the proper improvements are applied to it using the appropriate modifications. During the course of our testing, we discovered that front-wheel drive automobiles that were fitted with turbocharged engines and smooth automatic gearboxes performed significantly better than their counterparts that were equipped with rear-wheel drive. The dual-clutch transmission that is included with all-wheel drive versions is less smooth and more unpleasant than the 8-speed automatic transmission that is standard. This is because the automatic transmission is the standard transmission. The Taos models that are considered to be entry-level continue to be our top choice, regardless of if Volkswagen chooses to lower or raise prices for the year 2025. Since the fundamental model already comes equipped with sufficient technology and convenience features, it is not necessary to make an investment in a higher trim level because the essential model already comes equipped with these features. When compared to the facilities that were offered by the generation that came before this one, it did not appear that the greater costs associated with SE and SEL gave a considerable amount of value. For the purpose of determining whether or not there is a difference, we will just have to wait until the overhaul that takes place in the year 2025. There is a high probability that some adjustments will be made in the somewhat near future. With regard to the design of the subsequent generation of the Tiguan, we predict that the 2025 Tiguan will have an impact on the design of both the outside and the inside of the vehicle. This upgrade comes with a number of new components, including rear bumpers, wheels, and an updated interior appearance. One thing is certain, when the Volkswagen Taos 2025 finally makes its way to the market, it will unquestionably have the same performance characteristics as the model that is presently being phased out. Every single trim level is required to come standard with a turbocharged four-cylinder engine that is 1.5 liters in capacity and has the ability to generate 158 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque. Automobiles that are outfitted with front-wheel drive typically come with an automated gearbox that has eight different gear ratios as the basic setting. When the Taos is being driven just by its rear wheels, the acceleration from 0 to 60 miles per hour takes 7.6 seconds. Your visit to the Autofast channel is very appreciated, and we would like to take this opportunity to express our gratitude. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button if you want to increase the likelihood that you will not miss any new information regarding fantastic automobiles.